Hey guys, happy Easter. I hope that you had a fantastic weekend with your family and um, I hope you enjoyed some of the sunshine and getting outside and maybe you even had an Easter egg hunt. We did in our backyard yesterday and um, my kids were excited to get all kinds of yummy treats and I just hope that you're, um, that you're doing well. I miss you guys terribly. Um, we are still continuing our personal financial literacy unit, um, but as I was looking at the curriculum coming up, I realized I wanted to do a quick lesson about percentages before um, we get into like checking accounts and debit cards and all the stuff that goes along with that. Um, there's a lot of percentages involved when you start talking about money. And so um, I just wanted to do a little bit of a percentage review and teach you a shortcut for working with percentages because um, percents were so long ago. That was way back in August when we got to go to school. <laughs> um, anyway, I so yeah, I'm going to do a quick little lesson about percents and then you'll have just a 10 question um, slide to do. So I'll uh, start my lesson now. You might want to grab a sheet of paper and something to write with and just kind of follow along. So when you are finding um, a percent of a number, a lot of times when you start working with checking account information or credit cards, um, they'll say something like there's a 15% fee um, maybe for the checking account if it gets below a certain amount of, of money or um, there's all kinds of scenarios where they have fees attached to it. A lot of times credit cards will have fees attached to them if your balance um, gets above a certain amount. Uh, or they might even just have an annual fee, which means it's a fee every year. Um, let's just talk about that for a minute. So if they had an annual fee on a checking account and it's a 15% fee, that's a pretty high fee, but we'll just go with it. So if I had, let's say I had $625 in my checking account and I knew I was going to have a 15% fee, well, that would mean I need to find 15% of the $625. Um, we need to remember that 15%, we need to remember that percentages can also be written like a fraction. That could be 15 out of 100. Or it could also be written like a decimal. So that's where we go back to that very first unit when we are turning fractions to percents to decimals. So 15 over 100, 15 hundredths would look like that. 0 0.15, 15 hundredths. Remember it goes tenths, hundredths. So if I have a 15% fee of, uh, on my checking account, then I want to find 15% of 625. The easiest thing to do is turn it into a percent and then multiply. Okay, so I'm going to do $625 times 0.15. Line up your, you don't have to line up decimal points when you're multiplying. You can just line up your digits. Multiply like normal. Don't forget to go back and get your decimal point. So there's two digits behind the decimal. So one, two. So that means my fee would be $93.75. And like I said, that's a that's this is a made up scenario. So that's a pretty high percentage of a fee. Um, but I just wanted you to see kind of how to do it. So here's another example. What is 8% of 320? If I want to know 8% of 320, the first thing I should do 
is turn that percentage into a decimal. And the word of means multiply. So 8% of 320 means 320 times whatever that 8% is. What is 8% as a decimal? Well, remember that that's 8 out of 100. So it's 8 hundredths. So be careful about the placement of your where the 8 goes. Remember your decimal goes tenths, hundredths. So I would do 320 times 0 0.8. Again, I don't have to line up decimal points. I just line up my digits. So I don't have to go 320.00. I don't have to do that. Just multiply like normal. Don't forget to go back and grab those decimal points. So there's two digits behind the decimal. One, two. So my fee would be $25.60. Okay. So 8% of 320 is $25.60. All right, let's try one more. What is 12% of um, 82? 12% of 82. I want you to pause the video for a minute and try that question. So 12% means 12 out of 100. So as a decimal, that would be 0 0.12. Of means multiply times 82. So I'm going to do 82 times 0 0.12. Regular multiplication. Two numbers behind the decimal. So two numbers behind the decimal in my answer. My answer would be $9.84. Let's do one more that you can practice and get the right answer for me. So what is 6% of um, 750? Pause the video and solve here. So 6% is 6 out of 100. So we want to be very careful about where we put that 6. 6 hundredths, tenths, hundredths. And then I'm going to multiply. So my answer would be $45. I want to make sure I get my decimal in there. If you don't put the decimal in the right spot, you're not going to have the right answer.